Hi everyone, this is Gary Freeman and I have over 30 years experience in the clinical industry, both in drugs and devices, working for pharmaceutical, biotech, device, and contract research organization companies. I am currently operating a niche provider company known as the Freeman Group, located with the main office in New Jersey, working nationally and internationally for some auditing projects. We provide monitoring and auditing services to the industry. In this regard, I get to inspect many different trial master files. Some of them have been very well organized and some of them not so well. We hope to improve on this important documentation with the aspects that we learned in this course. As a good trial master file, it's essential for FDA review of a new drug application or a pre-market approval for devices and also internationally, other regulatory authorities. If you don't have a good trial master file, you have very little chance of getting an approval for a registration. We're going to be looking today at a number of aspects. First of all, we're going to look at the required components in a trial master file, which is usually known as a TMF uh, internationally, trial master file. We're going to look at a relatively new concept that the Drug Information Association, DIA, has composed called a TMF reference model. And I'm going to hold off on that until our little chapter two here. We do have a, an attachment that I would highly recommend that you spend a great deal of time with because the DIA has spent a huge amount of effort along with many other industry inputs to come up with something that I think is going to be a big help for the future in terms of a consolidated trial master file that all of us can take advantage of. We're going to look at how to maintain that trial master file, the quality control of it, we're going to look at a recommended policy that your company should have for a trial master file. And then lastly, we're going to look at the changing regulatory climate with the growth of the international marketplace that you're all so familiar with and how does that impact on our essential documentation practices. 